welcome what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today i would like to share with you some reasons why math is very difficult for all of us and we struggle including me in all levels whether it's school and university and of course we all know that because it takes a lot of practice it's monotonous and things like that but i want to share with you really deeper reasons that are kind of related to other things on how we perceive it how we deal with it the reason i'm showing you those reasons is because i think that Knowledge is transformative in and of itself. That means when you know why is it difficult, why something is challenging, that is going to help you come up with ways to attack it from that angle and you can navigate around that problem you're having with it. I made a simple video that is really nice. It also goes along with this one and it was about whether math is discovered or invented by people. You can watch that. I'm going to keep it in the description and I'm also going to keep it above here in the cards but let's just get right to the topic first of all the number one reason so the first reason is because math is actually just like a language and learning a new language can be difficult so why do i say that let us first start with finding out ways where language and math are kind of similar in the category first of all a line of math expresses a concept or something it is saying something to you to the reader and the person that wrote it means something by it there is a context where it applies there are rules that govern whether this sentence is actually a correct one or not. In fact, if you remember, the first step to solving a math problem or a physics problem is to transform the word problem into an equation, a math problem. That is because what you see in the math equation means exactly what was written in the question itself. Take a look at this equation, for example. It looks just like any other random, boring, mundane equation. But this actually says the momentum change of the first object is equal and opposite to the momentum change of this second object in a collision. So basically here, the context is the collision. That would be the context. And the rule, this is actually the law of conservation of momentum. So we came with the conservation of momentum concept as words first that can be explained just like I said it here. And then we transformed it into math. So that would be saying the same thing in a different language. Second reason is because it is easier to teach someone what is as opposed to why is something the way it is. What do I mean by that? I mean it is easier to explain how to do the math than to explain the concept behind the math. We'll go with a simple example, but it actually expands to all the complicated math problems. For example, multiplication. Do you remember the multiplication table? I would rather memorize the multiplication table than to understand the concept of multiplication itself. Now again, multiplication is simple enough, but this actually goes to differentiation and limits. Those are operation where something very specific of a meaning actually happens. But it's easier for me to actually learn how to do it, how to do the math, as opposed to what I'm actually doing when I do the math. If I tell you this is the equation to use so you can calculate the area of a circle or the outside of a circle, that is one thing. But how did that come apart? Like why is this equation does that? How does it actually do this calculation of this area or the circumference of a circle? That is a different issue. Using this, applying it, is easier than understanding where it came from. That's basically my point. That's the reason number two. A reason number three, this one is cool. So pay attention to what I'm about to say. The math expression itself is of something that is not intuitive. What? I'll tell you. Even if you understand this expression that has a meaning, this concept that it explains is something that is not intuitive because it might be something that you never have to deal with in your life ever. So something that is familiar for us like counting, addition, subtraction, even division, th those are things that are easier to grasp. But the more complicated it gets and the further away it gets from our social life and is just something that we really don't deal with, deal with in our everyday life, the math expression of it gets more difficult. That's basically my theory. Remember limits? Take a look at limits, for example. This expression right here says, the limit of this formula when the value of x approaches infinity is whatever the value is. 
Now, what does that even mean? That is something that you probably never have to deal with. You never have to understand the value of the shape of a graph as something approaches zero or infinity or anything like that. Because of that, reason two happens. When you read this in the definition page, what you're gonna say is, you know what, forget about this. Just teach me how to do the limits so I can pass the exam. So then you learn how to do math and you don't care about how it is, how does it actually, what, what you're actually doing and what does it mean. So when you do that, what's gonna happen? It's gonna lead you to thinking that it is useless because you're saying, just forget about all of this. I don't care what it means, just teach me how to do the math so I can pass the exam again. Now, what does your brain do to something that you believe is useless? It's just going to filter it right out. And it is just a positive feedback loop that makes math even more difficult and difficult because you think it's not useless, you don't really care about it, you don't apply yourself, and then it gets more difficult as you go by. I'm gonna make another video soon about how useful is math, so make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. I am finished.